first of all, Adam, why should we care about AI agent observability? Um, I think when we started building agents, what we quickly realized was agents just aren't reliable. And anybody who's listening to this video is maybe building these custom agents with any of the major frameworks. You realize that there's a lot of testing that goes into actually building these agents and making them reliable and then actually scaling them all the way through to production. Um, and observability is one of the best ways you can actually understand what your agents are doing, how they're succeeding, how they're failing, if they're being, you know, working towards the right goals. And we deal with a lot of companies who think about observability almost as an afterthought. They just go right into day zero, writing their first line of code, trying to build this agent. But they don't realize is they're not monitoring actually the performance of the agent. They're not building evals. They're not putting in the right guardrails. And, and this might be fine. Like if you just want to have a nice demo video that goes live on YouTube or on Twitter um, and you go super viral because you built an agent that does this one workflow incredibly well, that's great. Maybe you don't think too much about observability. But if you want to build something that's like a real business, if you want to actually go and scale this to production, if you want to go sell to like large Fortune 500 companies, then you have to make sure you've got to have like a backbone for you know what your agent's doing. You need to be able to track the cost. You need to understand latency. You need to understand where it's succeeding, where it's failing. You need to understand what tools it's calling. And observability is like the only way to actually get a lens into what your agent is actually doing out there. If you're not doing it, you're basically coding in the dark. You're basically developing in the dark. Um, and that's something that we've seen a lot of developers come to us saying, hey, we were in the dark before. And then you know, basically in two lines of code, we were able to actually get full understanding of what our agents were doing.